Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jody and this is Russ Lover's Garage. I just got done changing out a, um, the spark plugs in my 2004 Tahoe. I noticed that one of them actually was broken uh, and it was kind of moving around. Uh, but the motor showed no signs of skipping. There was no arcing or anything like that. But uh, didn't, didn't video that. There's probably 150 or 200 videos on how to change the spark plugs in a small block Chevrolet. Uh, if not, there, there ought to be. Uh, but I did use something, and I go about this a little bit different way than you've probably seen um, in, in times past. If you talk to mechanics, and I've got several friends that are a lot better motor mechanics than I'll ever be, uh, and, and they tell you, you know, you have to take the, uh, to get to that back spark plug wire uh, on the passenger side, you have to take the wheel off and you take the fender well out and all like that. Well, this video here, I'm, I'm going to show you something that I did that it, 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 I was just overlooking the obvious and I think many times in our doings we kind of get into a routine of doing things the same way because uh, everybody's told me you got to take that you know you got to do this you got to drop that inner fender and you use a reversal and you go you right up in there in the middle uh, or right up you know in behind there and you can you can get it out and it's a kind of a crazy angle and it's a little bit aggravating to get to but that that brings into play you got to have a jack jack stand uh, some way to get either a lug wrench manually or an impact to get the wheel and all off so that brings in a lot more tools I'm going to show you something that just kind of I, I, I saw it and I'm like well let me try this and, and what it is is just a case for all these years and all these times overlooking the obvious overlooking something that's laying right there in front of me and I think many times if we'll just kind of stop and look at any project we're doing uh, and make sure we're just not in a routine because that's the way we've always done it um, maybe that's not the best way but if we stop maybe we'll come up with a better way so we're going to step outside I've got the Tahoe out there uh, we're going to step outside and I'll show you the spark plug wire and, and, and things down in there that we put on uh, and then go beyond that we'll come back in and look at exactly what I did so thank you for being here let's step outside and take a look okay as you can see that's the next to the last and then there's the last wire see if I can get my finger in here so we can see it but right there Oops, camera's picking up on it but right in here is the wire that we're getting to and if you look hope I can get it in there enough where you can see there's just not a lot of room where that wire makes its bend and goes into there between the heater box and the air conditioning condenser so uh, we're gonna go inside and look at a little bit of a, a different way of uh, tooling up to get this job done alrighty on a 2000 excuse me a 1999 to 2013 Chevrolet small block be it a Tahoe a Suburban or a pickup truck doesn't matter uh, all of this will work. May work in other applications, I don't know, but that's the vehicles I've got experience with. Uh, if you notice here, here's a universal joint on a eight inch extension. Now, if you ask yourself why do I have electrical tape around this universal joint, go back and look at a previous video on a hack that I did on this, uh, make your life a lot easier when using these. But typically speaking, you take this thing, you put your socket on it, you go up in there once you've got your fender wheel pulled out, got your tire off, and you go in there at a little bit of a funky angle and you try to work the spark plug out. Okay. With that being said, I want to show something that's extremely obvious. i got some tools back here on the table. <clears throat> this is what I've got, and this is what I used, along with a ratchet. This is a, I call them broke necks or whatever, but it's a, it's a swivel head ratchet, 3 h drive. It's got a 45 handle on it. It's, it's kind of designed to do spark plugs. But here's what we're looking at. This assembly right here, without the tape, is a standard 5 8 spark plug wrench. It's got the little rubber grommet in there. This will slide down on there and give you, you know, just about go out of sight to get the spark plug out. There's not enough room at the back of this socket right here to get a two or four inch extension in. But guys, if you'll pay attention to this, the back of this socket is basically a nut. Okay? It just happens to be a three quarter. So if you take this and slide it down on your spark plug wrench, in this case this is a standard three quarter uh, craftsman socket look at there slides right down on it when you go down in there at the angle you're going to be at about like this right here you'll be able to work that uh, work that spark plug out now you can do a couple different things okay in my case I had enough room to bring everything out all at once if not you may have to disengage the socket and leave the entire assembly in there okay and then bring it out one at a time some of these boxes are a little different you know, the, again, this is a molded piece uh, that's a fiberglass resin, so, you know, it's kind of moves around. They're not guaranteed to be 100%, but the fact is, you can do it that way, then bring out the sockets one at a time, or you can choose to do as I've done again, because I had room, all right? This is what I used, and I was able to disengage the ratchet, 
and pull this out in one assembly, and because it had the little rubber grommet in there, it also brought the spark plug out with it. So again, you got room, you got time, guys. This is just a case where I recognized all these years and all these times that I've done this, there's got to be a better way. And, and once I realized what I was working with, uh, it was a whole lot easier. I didn't have to jack the vehicle up. I didn't have to get jump through any kind of mechanical gymnastics to make it happen. Uh, again, I hope this helps in your shop. I appreciate you spending time on my channel. And as always, God bless.